Approval is the last task before publishing. It is carried out by the language coordinators who verify the quality of the subtitles. Once taken, ideally approval tasks should be completed within a week, even though Amara gives each task a 30-day limit. Leaving approval tasks in the dashboard for longer periods of time can demotivate the volunteers and even potentially lead them to abandon the project. Here are a few easy steps for performing approvals quickly and efficiently. The Amara editor marks reading speed and line and subtitle length issues with a red exclamation mark. By using your browser search function, you can easily locate all exclamation marks and swiftly decide if you should send the task back with notes on how to correct these issues or correct them yourself if there are very few of them. Don't forget to check the title and description and edit them according to the TED, TED-ED or TEDx title and description formats as appropriate. Next, watch the talk with the subtitles on to see whether the synchronization of the subtitles is correct. In the meantime, you can scan the subtitles for accuracy, grammar, spelling and punctuation. Once you are done with the first pass, decide whether you can complete the task as it is or whether the subtitles need to be sent back for further corrections. The approval tasks should not take too much of your time. For example, the approval of a standard 18-minute TED Talk should not take more than 30 minutes to complete. If more time is required, you should consider returning the task to the reviewer with instructions on how to improve the subtitles. Before sending the subtitles back, it's a good idea to make the necessary changes, at least in the first minute or two, to give the reviewer an example of what you mean. In your comments, you can include links to guidelines and tutorials, examples of mistakes, language resources, tips and tricks, and anything that you feel will help the volunteer improve. Make sure you refer to objective standards from reputable resources by a language authority in your culture, so the volunteers will feel that the level of skill necessary to be good at translating and reviewing is fully accessible to them provided that they base their decisions on more careful research. Remember to phrase your feedback in a polite and constructive manner. Only comment on the work and not the contributor. Be objective and make sure to point out not only the mistakes, but also what worked in the subtitles to encourage the volunteer. You can write feedback templates for the most common comments and share them with the other language coordinators in your language. This will reduce the time needed for approvals even more. In Otipedia, you can read more about how to tackle an approval task and also find a huge library with useful resources you can share with the translators. And for now, happy approving!